So carrying on here, let's see what else we can do here. So what I've just done there is I've actually toggled into a read only mode and I can click back into edit. So gone is the whole concept of open versus edit. So you know you would double click on an item and it would open it, um, but you had to right click on it to say edit. It was kind of two different modes. Now those are basically gone and you can switch back and forth between the two of them at any time. So I'm going to take the whole group here, shift selected them. I'm going to assign items to them at one shot here. So it's gone through and I'm just going to save that again and just com commit my changes. So no longer do I have to close the item to commit it. And notice that there's some filters built in here. So we can actually change the filters to show us you know, just what's been assigned, what hasn't been assigned. Um, and we can kind of flip back and forth between that very quickly. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to assign this to. So what's happening here is that Vault wants to assign a new item to this. What I'd really like to do is go out and find an existing item. So this is what you could kind of do before with the um, assign item dialog. You would basically leave it on the first page, go to the second page, and you'd go and search for a replacement. Probably the most non-intuitive dialog box ever created. I don't know how many people would go in there and then go through and try to worry about their items and then click next. I have no idea what that second dialog um, is actually there for. Also notice the new position order. Um, column here which we can use to actually go in there and change the order of our bill of materials. So um, one thing I, I, I'm not showing here that we could also do is I could actually drag and drop the rows as well to reorder them and it'll actually set that position number as well. Um, but you can see it's just as easy to go in there, change the position order number and have your rows updated. And this is great for when you're going to export it or just by looking at it it's that easy now to go in there and make the changes to it. Okay, so that's that's um, going from the file to the item. Also notice now the option to open the item directly from the file. So no longer do you have to go to the item and then open it to edit it. You now can actually open it from there. It's kind of tough to see here, but notice that that dialog box is also modeless now. So I was able to um, open that item from there and leave that open um, as I continue working on some other things. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new item and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use a copy and paste and I'm going to take the file that I want to assign to this and I'm actually going to copy and paste it. Or the other option is just to simply right click in the bottom there and say add link. So the two options now, um, attachments and links, um, are still available, or sorry the attachment one is still available but you no longer just have to use the paper clip at the top you can actually right click in that bottom area there and say add attachment and add it through there. So I'm going to go and find a file and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to edit and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go back to the item which no, no, notice was still open. Now this is where I could go through and I could actually browse for and search for that file so I could just add, add link, go through and find it or add attachment, same thing, go and search through it. But what I'm going to do is actually go to the edit pull down and I'm going to paste. And notice how I paste that file in there. And this is an assembly, which means that when I go to the bill of materials tab here, um, the bill of materials is going to be there ready for me to start turning on or turning off. 